Hello everyone, welcome back. This is day seven of Top Dog Toba, and just want to let you know you can keep an eye on the community tab on our page to see who is ahead. No spoilers here, go and check it out, but I want still as many points as possible. And how do I get points in this Top Dog Toba week? Hmm. Well, there's two ways. One, every thousand views I get on my videos. Thank you very much for everyone who's watched so far. And another one is how many signups I get using my code. Let me show you what I mean, because our website currently, if you've watched other videos, you know exactly what I'm going to say. We have an amazing offer. So if you've been enjoying these and you like Hayden and I explaining to you exactly how to solve all of these 11 plus type questions, well, why not come along to our website? Because we have English, verbal, maths, and non-verbal reasoning. Every single week we release a lesson on each one where you can find on our website and we also have homeworks to go with every single lesson. That's a ton of stuff for you to practice and then you can watch our walkthrough. We've even recorded how to solve every single question there. So it's tons of content. All you need to do is click in the link down in the description or the pinned comment and use Vote Dylan because if you use Vote Dylan, you'll get 15% off and I'll be one step closer to not having to go through the forfeit. We know Hayden's going to do it. It's just a fact, okay? We, we know that now, guys, okay? But if you enjoy this, there's loads more content on there, guys. 12 months of access and you get 15% off. So make sure you do that now, this month of October. Anyway, let's take a look here because I know for a fact yesterday, Hayden was talking you through colons and semicolons. And this was the question he set for you and I saw all your comments. Well, what's the answer? I'm going to tell you now. The answer is... B, that comma is incorrect. It's what we call a run-on sentence. Penelope from class seven was an excellent student. That is its own sentence. So we even need to put a full stop there or we could put a semicolon as Hayden was telling us yesterday because these are two related main clauses that make sense on their own. A comma, however, is never correct in that situation because the two clauses are independent. They make sense on their own. Anyway, onto my interesting lesson. We're looking at combining shapes today, as you can see. And this is a really tricky type of question. I'm pretty sure Hayden is taking all the easy stuff and letting me do all the hard work. Another reason, by the way, why you should be watching my videos and signing up using my code. Anyway, let's take a look at them. So basically in this question type, we are given a shape to start with. It can be an abstract shape, anything. Here it's a very odd looking shape and it's labeled with letters. In this case, it's Y and X. Then we're given two processes to do to that shape. It's shown either by a plus symbol, which means we need to add on something to the shape, or a subtraction symbol, which means we need to take something away from the shape. Now, where do the letters come in? Quite clearly here, we can see in the processes on the right-hand side, adding something, we can see an X, and taking away something, we can see a Y, and they match up. So there's a lot of rotation going on here. That's why it's a spatial reasoning question as well because we need to match up these sides. This line here, for example, of X, we're going to add on this shape. We can see it's white here. Gray just means we take it away. It's another hint, but we can also look at the symbols. We need to match up this line with this line here, which is labeled as X. Now that isn't as straightforward as it looks because we have to do some rotating. Imagine picking up this shape here, rotating it and slotting it in. Now, luckily for us, it's a rectangle, so it's quite similar no matter how we rotate. So that's the first step. Let's do that now. Adding that on via rotation, we'd actually have to rotate it 90 degrees clockwise, but that doesn't matter. We can imagine that and put it in here. And my top tip is to draw this out. So if you've got a piece of paper in front of you, that's always the best thing to do. Now you can see I've done the first step. I've added on this shape by matching up the letters. The next one I'm gonna show you is a subtraction. So again, this is the Y side of the shape and that matches up here. And we can see it might be really tempting to draw out a triangle on this side, but that would be wrong. That would be completely incorrect. And the reason is because this is a subtraction. We're going to take it away. It's gray. So actually for this one, we have to imagine rotating this 180 degrees and we end up with something that looks like this with Y matching up as best as possible. That Y here is actually going to come all the way around and we're going to make sure that we can slot in that Y to this line here because this is where the triangle will end up. So you can see that Y would come round and label this side, which matches up really nice on the inside here, and these Ys match up. That's what is gonna put us off sometimes, trying to match up those lines and imagining the rotation. The best thing I can say to you guys is, draw it out on paper and turn it, or cut it out and turn it, and do that as much as possible until your brain is trained in doing that. So we know we're actually cutting this off, so we wanna ignore this completely. So I like to just cross through like that, and then I know 
the remaining shape is my answer and I just go around it it's not going to be the most beautifully neat thing ever but it's going to help me imagine that I want this kind of shape now where can I see that hopefully you guys can tell it's D okay so that shape here without the Y with the X added on it's going to give us this shape here as D just be careful because sometimes the answers can be rotated in this case this shape just matches perfectly here. So rotations are a huge part of this question. So I want you to have a go at this one. I want you to pause the video. If you need to draw this shape out on paper, then do that. And then add on this shape and match up the X lines. Take away this shape and match up the Y lines and see what you have left. Have a go for me. Okay, so hopefully you paused and did have a go yourself. I'm gonna talk you through this one before you have a go yourself uh, and leave a question, uh, leave your answer in the comments. So taking a look here, X and X, this is the line X. I want to match it up here. Now it doesn't work exactly now, but if I just rotate it around, we can see that it will fit perfectly there to make a lovely right angle. And then I'm gonna take away Y. Luckily for us, there's no rotation has to happen here because this Y line matches up perfectly with this one. We're gonna come across try and match up exactly how long that is. Uh, and then from here, we can just join up this line. It's never going to be perfect, but as long as it's roughly correct. Now remember, we're taking this away. So we don't want this. We want to ignore all of this, it's being cut off. So what we have now, if I draw a blue line all the way around the edge, we have a kind of outline here of what the shape will be. And then we simply look at the options and if you can imagine that without that line in the middle, because remember that's been added on now, you can see, I hope, that the answer is clearly B. And again, luckily for us, no rotations there. Just bear in mind, there might be, okay? There can be rotations when we add and subtract. There can be rotations even once we've made our complete shape. So with all of that advice in mind of how to add and how to subtract and what to look out for, I want you guys to have a go yourself. This one has two subtractions, so don't be put off by that. Simply do the subtraction process twice. You don't need to add anything in. The only thing I will say is that these dotted lines just show you exactly where that X line will go, okay? So that's the only hint I've got. You're gonna have to do some rotating. I can't wait to see in the comments, guys, what you think the answer is, and then tomorrow, Hayden, will be able to tell you exactly what the answer was and you'll be able to see how you got on. But well done. This is the seventh day. Tomorrow's day eight. We're not even halfway through. We've got loads more left. Catch you next time.